Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to talk about a very cool known lighter. This is the Beatty Jet Lighter. All right, these were created uh, somewhere in the mid 1940s and they stopped production in 1961. Now what makes this uh, lighter pretty interesting is that when you light it, you have a regular traditional flame that goes straight up and down, but this uses uh, jet technology to give the option of using this like a pipe lighter. All right, super unique, very innovative lighter. Uh, and I want to make a video on it because I know a ton of you guys out there have probably never seen this before. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how the lighter works. Then we're gonna go into some more details and stuff. I have a, an old ad here as well as a little excerpt about, you know, it's uh, original patents and such. All right, so here's how it works. It has a hinge. All right, you open the hinge. Let me zoom in here for you. All right, we have a spark wheel. We have a wick there and we have an interesting tube. All right, so you go ahead and spark it to light it. Now, as this lighter starts to warm up, what you're able to do is tilt it that way. And what happens is the fuel pressure inside builds and it shoots out of that tube. So you're able to use this like a pipe layer sideways. All right, if you didn't want it to be a pipe layer, you could turn it back upright then it'll slowly come back in and you'll have your regular flame. All right, to light cigarettes or candles, whatever you want. So uh, really simple concepts um, and it is a really interesting lighter. So what's so cool about it is obviously uh, not everyone needs, you know, a, a pipe lighter or like a sideways flame as I talked about in my recent videos with all those different uh, uh, lighters that I was showing. Um, you know, to have a lighter, normally you have this traditional flame that, that rides up and down. But if you ever needed that, that you know, sideways flame, maybe to get into a, a candle that's a little bit deeper, you know, or for most people to, uh, to smoke a pipe or something like that, uh, you have the option, which is really cool. So here is the uh, original patent for this, all right? This works like most lighters, all right? Where we have a cotton fill in here, then we have a wick that comes down, you fill the bottom with fluid, it soaks up the fluid, you spark it, it lights it. The only difference here is the addition of this tube, okay? So what happens is the fuel, those vapors, it's rotting through this tube. As this tube heats up, because it's close to that flame, it creates a vacuum, a suction, okay? So basically, as it, as it gets hotter uh, and you tilt this, the vapors are being pushed out. And because they're being pushed out, the flame goes sideways, all right? Really, really interesting. Very cool concept. I'm not sure why this, uh, you know, ended production. I would think that this would be continuously popular, you know, popular like the, uh, the Zippo lighter because you'd be able to light cigarettes, cigars, you know, or pipes. That would be pretty cool. But for whatever reason, they stopped making them in 1961. So here's an old ad. All right, it's the perfect Christmas gift. All right, for dad, brother, or yourself, which is clearly sexist. There's no reason why a woman wouldn't want a lighter either. Um, but back then, that's just what it was. This is a man's thing. Get the ladies. So anyway, famous BD lighter, BD jet lighter, excuse me, uh, expressively designed for lighting pipes. Um, says tilted slightly, flame jet directly into pipe bowl, upright, uh, an excellent cigarette or cigar lighter, uh, protective windshield, guarantees strong flame out of door and indoors. Uh, pig skin covered, obviously there was a, a leather covered option back then as well. Gunmetal trim, factory guarantee enclosed with each lighter. Uh, buy now while they last. And back then it was two bucks, all right? And then obviously you can do it by mail as well. So yeah, government surplus bargain. So there's an old ad on it. All right, again, to, uh, to fill this lighter, you remove the case, all right? Just pulls off, very similar to a Zippo lighter. And then you are going to just soak the cotton fill with your lighter fluid, all right? It's very easy to overlight, or excuse me, overfill these. So you want to start slow, you know, drip some in, drip some fluid in, let it sit a little bit, hold it upside down, let gravity pull it to the bottom. All right, as this top starts to dry up a little bit, add a little more, add a little more, all right, until you're sufficiently filled. All right, if you overfill it, it's not that big of a deal. Just lean this on something upright like that, and, uh, you know, it'll slowly evaporate, all right? So once you fill it, by the way, there's your um, flint tube screw. So just like a Zippo, you'd unscrew that. You'd have your spring and your flint if you want to replace the flint on here. And on the bottom, you can see this tube. Now, the only thing is if you are replacing the wick, you do have to um, be very 
uh, careful in actually you know putting the wick through the uh, the pipe here all right so that's a whole process i've never gotten into uh, eventually i'm sure i'll have to uh, do something similar but you can see obviously there's there's a bunch of extra wick here so even if i had to pull this up and trim it it'll probably be okay uh you know a couple times before you'd have to actually replace the wick um really simple really interesting concept again i'm not sure exactly why they don't still have this lighter uh, available today it's just a, a really cool design so there's your regular flame again you want that to uh, warm up for a minute all right once it's nice and warm you start tilting it you can see it slowly pushes that flame out it's just super super cool what an awesome concept and again just innovation you know this is during the uh, the jet age when people are trying to uh, to innovate I and mean, people are always trying to innovate and create things uh, but for some reason you know back then it seems more exciting because things are are brand new today's day and age we see a lot of technological advances but like mechanical advances and different things like that i guess i don't know maybe i just don't notice it i'm sure there's constant innovation but anyway i just want to read this to you this might be the boring part of it for the people you know lighter collectors and such you might want to know about this let me give you a shot on the bottom all right so you see the bd jet lighter big bold letters made in usa and now this has two patents on it and that's why i want to read the information uh, to you this is a, uh, a later model some of the original models had the single patent so let me read to you exactly why so bd jet lighters were made from the mid 1940s until 1961. the jet lighter was first invented by london-based guy s barker in 1929. Uh, he filed his u.s patent on november 5th 1930 and was granted his patent on january 17th 1933. Inventor William E. Evans, who worked for the Waterbury Lock and Specialty Company of Milford, Connecticut, created a refined design based on Barker's original work. Evans filed his patent on August 25th, 1939, and was granted a patent on May 20th, 1941. Yet a third jet lighter design was created by Francis Leslie Phillips, who received his patent approval on December 30th, 1947. Phillips' design is almost an exact duplicate of Evans' earlier design. So you have three different dudes here, all right, who are basically coming up with the same thing. Uh, it is possible to differentiate uh, earlier BD, lighter, BD jet lighters from later versions by both the patent numbers listed on the lighter and the typography engraved onto the lighter's bottoms. Uh, earlier lighters list Guy Barker's patent number, which is 1894300. Later versions list both the Evans patent number, which is 2242906, and the Phillips patent number, 2433707. Oddly, some Phillips design lighters with a reservoir fill screw on the bottom list the Barker patent number and not the Phillips number. Sometime prior to 1944, the patent rights to manufacture the Beatty lighter were acquired by Robert W. Beatty of Brooklyn, New York. Beatty, who grew up in upstate New York in Long Lake area, uh, attended the Manual Training High School, an engineering and technical school where he developed an appreciation for ingenuity. Uh, in invention. Though the BD lived in Brooklyn where they operated a preschool, BD and his wife Elvira uh, owned and operated a summer camp, Camp BD, located on the west shore of Long Lake. The camp is no longer in operation, it has become a private residence. Uh, Robert BD was also apparently an early marketer and or distributor for the original jet lighter made in England. The BD jet lighter was produced in nickel plate, chrome plate, uh, engine turn chrome, heavy silver plate, heavy gold plate, and in sterling silver. Um, one could buy them encased in lizard, morocco, and pigskin leathers. Price ranged from $6.95 to $49 for the gold, or excuse me, for the solid sterling models. A desk model in early morocco or pigskin was sold for $11.95. Um, Champ also produced the Champ Jet Stream Lighter, uh, circa 1950 which was essentially the same uh, as did Lord Chesterfield, circa 1955, and Mastercraft Spitfire, circa 1955. Rogers produced uh, the rocket flame lighter in Japan, circa 1958, and the jet lighter made in England and marketed by Robert Beatty was probably the oldest patent in 1929. So anyway, I found this whole thing to be extremely interesting. You guys know I'm a huge fan of all different types of, uh, of lighters and gadgets and gear and stuff. Um, this one was actually traded by a viewer, so you know who you are. Thank you very much for that. Uh, this was on my, my long list of, you know, wanted items as far as lighters. There's a couple other unique lighters that eventually I'd like to get, but they're quite expensive. 
Uh, this person happened to mention it. You know, hey, I got this interesting lighter. I said, yeah, I know all about it. I love to work out a trade, and we did. So I gave him a, a cool uh, knife, and he gave me this cool lighter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see the top, you know, closes down. Um, just like a lot of uh, lighters, you have the wick here, and then this whole tube covers the wick, all right? It's not like a perfect seal, so just like a Zippo, this will slowly lose fluid, but it'll last at least a week or two, you know, once filled, um, you know, if you wanted to continually carry this and actually use it. But just really simple concepts, awesome engineering, and a cool little piece of history. So I love it. You can definitely find these, you know, if you're interested, these do pop up on eBay all the time. You can get a, a beat up one for 20 bucks, you know, and then obviously some better ones go all the way up. Uh, just depends on condition and, and who's looking at the time. But I would say on average, they're about 30 to $40. All right, so they're definitely, uh, they're out there. They're definitely accessible. Like I said, they're, they're pretty frequently on eBay. So if you do have an interest in this, you can certainly find one. But I'm sure there's other places you can find them as well. You know, antique stores might have these, but who knows what the price will be at antique stores. All right, so before I go, a quick word of warning because I burned my finger pretty bad on this. Uh, luckily, it didn't blister or anything, but it was a, a pretty pretty good sizzle. I actually heard it. Um, so when you first get this lighter, you know you know what's supposed to happen. So you know you go to light it, and um, maybe maybe you tilt it right away to try to get that tube to get hotter. Right when you're tilting it, you can see the flame is right on this lid. This lid is very thin metal and it heats up very quickly. So what I did was I heated it up, I tilted it, all right? Took a second or two and the flame came out. I'm like, oh, really cool. And I went like this and I shut the lid like that. I made full contact and my finger went tss, and it burned my finger really bad. All right, so just be careful. This lid is thin. So obviously direct contact with that flame. It does not take very long to heat up very, very hot. Okay, but under normal use, it's not going to, to heat up. Clearly, it goes completely out of the way here. That's something else, too. If you're, if you're in person buying one of these, you want to make sure you have a good spring on the lid. Oftentimes, with these older lighters, you know, that the spring wears out or breaks or whatever, and it just kind of flop around, or it might even fall off. This one happens to be pretty good, where it's very functional. Um, but yeah, pretty darn cool. The BD Jet Lighter. We'll get one more action shot here before we go. Heats up. Tilt it. Flame shoots out. How cool is that? Awesome. Now this is warmed up for me using it. It works even better. But yeah, that is the uh, the BD Jet lighter. So again, this one is probably from eh, maybe mid 50s, early 50s, all the way up to 1961 when they ended. It is one of the, the later years, but what does that exactly mean? I don't know. I'm sure there's websites where you can maybe look at other factors to get an exact date. Um, but my best guess, late 50s, you know, or up until 1961 uh, when they were, you know, out of production. But that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know down in the comments section if you have an interesting lighter, uh, what it is, because uh, I'm always interested in, in finding new designs. You know, maybe something else I'll, I'll uh, try to find in the future and uh, get a video done on it. But I do have a handful. There's probably four off the top of my head, and I don't want to give them away yet because they're all exciting. Uh, but they're expensive. One particularly is like over $100. You just cannot find it for less than 100 bucks. And I don't know if I want to spend the money on that, <laughs> but maybe one day I'll have to because I doubt someone will randomly have one to trade. Um, but yeah, I just, I love lighters as you guys know. And uh, this is a really cool one. So I want to make a video on it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with, guess what? A brand new video. <laughs> have a good one guys. Take care.